I'm gonna let you in on a little secret that Ford can't tell you for legal reasons, but I can. This 7.2 kilowatt system is actually strong enough to power your whole house in a blackout. No shit. What could be more fun than a day spent climbing over stuff, pulling things and getting muddy with lots of horsepower and torque? Well, how about all that and power tools? Yes, power tools. This is the electrifying new 2021 Ford F-150. Now, before I'm tempted to build the treehouse, let's dig in and I'll explain everything from this Ford's new hybrid powertrain to its onboard generator, over-the-air updates, and even its forthcoming hands-free driving tech. This is the 14th generation F-Series, 14. It's all but unprecedented in the automotive world to have 14 generations of anything. Not even the Fast and the Furious has that many movies, at least, I don't think. I gave up after the first couple. Not that you'd immediately notice that this truck is new, because this rig looks an awful lot like the last one. The headlamp's C-clamp shaped LED daytime running lamps now extend into the bumper. There's a slightly wider track sheathed in all new aluminum bodywork, plus an automatically deploying chin spoiler for better aero, and a trick new multifunction tailgate. Overall, this new F-150 might be a bit predictable looking, but I'm 100% okay with that. This dudded up King Ranch appears powerful and polished, and it's this truck's new tech, cabin refinement, and straight up brawn that makes this power boost model such a star. That's right, I said power boost, not EcoBoost, although this truck has that too. Now, you can still get a full range of V6 and V8s in both naturally aspirated and turbocharged forms, and you can even get a diesel. But this is the first F-150 to get electrified. And I'm not talking about some mild setup. This is a full hybrid with a 35 kilowatt electric motor in the transmission case, powered by a 1.5 kilowatt hour battery. The motor gets strapped to the back of the 10-speed automatic and builds on the power of Ford's stoutest gas engine, the twin-turbo 3.5-liter EcoBoost. All in, you get 430 horsepower and 570 pound-feet of torque. That is 30 more horsepower and 70 more pound-feet than the gas engine alone. It's also way more twist than you can get in the Power Stroke diesel. EPA Power Boost fuel economy figures have just been released, and they're easy to remember. 24 miles per gallon city, highway, and combined. Admittedly, a loaded up super cab with big tires like this King Ranch probably won't do quite as well. Even still, those are crazy good numbers for a full-size pickup, and Ford says you can do a leg crossing 700 miles between fill-ups. All that with no plug. I gotta say, the smoothness of this hybrid powertrain is really impressive. You don't even notice when you're on a slight downhill grade and the engine cuts off and you're just being pushed along on a wave of electrons. The electric augmented muscle of this pickup flat out gets the job done. If I had to ballpark the zero to 60 time of this King Ranch, I'd guess somewhere in the mid five second range. And that power delivery is effortless and quiet. The EcoBoost V6 has never been a particularly good sounding engine and this hybrid application doesn't change that, but at least you don't have to hear from it as often. In any case, to go along with that quiet, I'm really impressed by this King Ranch's ride and handling balance. Whether you're on a smooth surface like this one or on a rutted dirt road, the ride is really solid. You can tell that the frame is stiffer than before and the variable ratio power steering really does a nice job of helping you feel in control. In fact, I did some modest off-roading in a new F-150 FX4 too. Aside from the inherent limitations of a full-size pickup truck on tight trails, the Ford was good and drama-free off-road thanks in part to the gazillion drive modes that help set everything up for whatever you can put beneath its tires. Of course, just because the Power Boost has more power than any other F-150 doesn't mean all of its performance metrics are up. A non-hybrid 3.5 EcoBoost Super Crew can carry up to 270 pounds of additional payload, depending on configuration. More importantly, while you can tow up to 12,400 pounds with a Power Boost Super Crew, an equivalent gas-only 3.5 will get you a further 1,400 pounds. That's partially due to the hybrid system's extra weight, especially that heavy battery. Either way, if you spec it right, a gas-only F-150 can tow up to 14,000 pounds. That's 800 more than last year. We're just on a normal road right now, but earlier, Ford let me play around with a bunch of different tow packages on its proving grounds, riding up and down the hills, 
using both gas and hybrid models. I tried an EcoBoost with a big Supra powerboat and trailer weighing 7,200 pounds, and I also tried a PowerBoost towing a camper that weighed over 7,000 pounds. Both were well under their max weight limits and behaved like they weren't towing much of anything back there at all. It was pretty wild to be on a downhill with the engine turning off, only to pull away from a stop silently on electric power. Ford says it subjected hybrid F-150s to the same torture tests as any other F-150, and my power boost seemed genuinely well behaved through it all. What's interesting is that the power boost only cost $1,900 more than the gas-only EcoBoost V6. That suggests, with its improvement in fuel economy, that you could be in the black quicker than you think. And that completely ignores the added value of the 2.4 kilowatt Pro Power Onboard Generator that comes standard on all PowerBoost models. With two 120 volt outlets in the bed and two right up front, you can have a killer tailgate party. You can power a big screen TV, a mini fridge, a heater, pretty much anything you want. This particular King Ranch has been optioned up with the 7.2 kilowatt Pro Power Onboard for an extra $750. With a 240 volt hookup in the back, as well as an extra 220 volt outlets back there, you can power up an entire construction site with all the compressors, saws, and drills you can think of. And Ford says you can get 32 hours out of a full tank of gas. Ford tells me that they've even managed to charge one of their new Mustang Mach-E electrics off of the back of one of these things. That is seriously impressive. All that, and you don't have to mess with the usual generator stuff. No gas cans, no taking up bed space, no theft risk on job sites. Pro Power on board is even quieter and cleaner than a standalone generator. This is seriously smart. I think Pro Power on board is a big enough deal that it may win over a few hardcore electric skeptics. And if they need any more incentives, there's a whole bushel of carrots inside this new F-150. Past F-150 interiors may have paled in comparison with Rams 1500, but it doesn't look like Ford's going to make that mistake with their new truck. This King Ranch is roomy and luxury car sumptuous with a western twist, and it's super teched out. Beyond the wall-to-wall -wall leather, this one features an 18-speaker B&O audio system, heated, ventilated, and massage lay-flat seats, 4G LTE Wi-Fi, and an all-digital gauge cluster. Plus, it's got a matching 12-inch infotainment screen running Sync 4, which is both versatile and quick. Hell, I've seen tiny houses that are less comfortable and less functional. Did I mention that this new F-150 features over-the-air updates? That means that Ford can wirelessly beam you bug fixes, new features, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm not just talking infotainment, I'm talking the whole vehicle, powertrain included. Kind of like you know who. Oh, and speaking of updates, while this truck already has a load of advanced driver assist features, including adaptive cruise with lane centering and roadside recognition, self-park and all kinds of trailer safety tricks, it'll soon be updatable late next year for a true hands-free driving system on HC map divided freeways. One last party trick for you, and that is the full down center shifter that lets you flip over the armrest and turn it into a gigantic flat workspace so that you can put down your laptop, your pen and paper, whatever you need. What a great workplace feature. The only thing that I don't really care for is the action of the shifter itself. It's a little over large and clunky feeling. That one gripe aside, I gotta say, I really love this cabin of the King Ranch. Everything feels high quality, and all the special little touches like the lay flat seats and the flip over center console, well, they just work. In fact, the whole truck is amazing. It's so capable, so powerful, and so refined. The hybrid and generator tech are game changers, whether you're a contractor or a weekend warrior with lots of toys to juice up. One thing this truck isn't though is cheap. While the 2021 F-150 starts at $30,635 delivered, this heavily optioned King Ranch Power Boost Prices out at nearly $77,000, including freight, and there are still two trims, limited and platinum, above this one. You know what they say, with great power and great tech come even greater price tags. The good news is, this 2021 Ford F-150 feels like it's worth it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go find myself a really big belt buckle. So, what do you think of this new F-150? Are you interested in a hybrid pickup? And is an onboard generator even a good idea? Finally, would you rather have a Ram, Chevy, or Toyota? Leave me a comment below, and before you click out over to theroadshow.com for my in-depth F-150 first drive, 
consider smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel.